Hey everyone, it's Kelly with Good Dogs Minnesota and I am going to really quickly here show you how to change and lock your levels of your mini educator. So first thing you want to do is turn on. Oh. On. Holding this button, the L button or on off button for three seconds. All right, so if you have it set the way that I usually have my clients have it set, actually it'll be the momentary and continuous. Uh, this transmitter for some people, I think some people prefer the round one, some people prefer the more uh, ergonomical uh, traditional type remote. Um, but for this one, to change your levels, you've got the dial up here, right? And you can go ahead and turn it. One clockwise turn is, is one is from zero to a hundred. Um, they do have these little notches right here, so you know whenever the red is up front, you can see that, that it's at zero, All right? And if you see, if it won't move anymore, and you see no red, you know it's at high. Um, one thing I tell my clients to do when part of their homework is they actually should um, be playing with this remote a lot. Obviously, when it's the the receiver is not on the dog or make sure that it is turned off. Um, but being able to turn this, and this is what I do, and this is why I actually have it set um, as the this one being momentary, the black button being momentary, and then the red button being continuous so that my clients can actually hold this and actually move this at the same time if they need to. Um, it takes a little bit of practice. So if you do, if this is the color that you guys chose, um, practice. Practice a lot. Gain that muscle memory and how to turn it up and down with one hand. All right, so um, I'm going to show you now how to lock it. Now, I don't advise early on in training locking the collar or locking the levels at all. And what that does is, you know, for example, if I set it at 15, I can actually push this down until it blinks. And now, no matter what this does, it'll lock in place. Right. Um, again, I typically don't do this because um, it's a little bit. If you if you have a situation where your dog um, may take off on you, you know you can't raise or lower the levels. Um, I don't really like that, especially in the first um, in the first weeks of training. But down the road, when you know your dog pretty well, you know what level that he's gonna to respond to and you're just using the e-collar as a reminder or you're really using it at all, I think locking it is just fine. Um, so that is how you give that a lock. Again, you can turn it to whatever number you want. Push this little dial down. You'll see the red until it blinks and now it is locked. And then to unlock it again, push down, red, blinks, and now it is unlocked. That is how you change your levels and lock your mini educator.